You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey guys, so today we've got a weird and wacky update from a leaked script, and it seems to involve Emma Barber, who is supposedly dead, and who I believe is dead, and it's all set to unwind during February sweeps. Hey, this is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I'm going to tell you where this leaked script came from, what it says, and how it can twist the current front burner storylines. Hey, please click subscribe if you haven't already, and now let's take a look at what what is coming. All right, so Cumberland Brown, who plays Sheila Carter, posted a video on her Instagram from her dressing room at the CBS soap opera. I'm going to show you the video at the end of this video so you can see it for yourself. But it's it's kind of hard to see the important thing that leaked from her video because you have to see it up close and personal. And I'm going to show you that too. So Cumberland acts in the video like she's reading the script. Then she looks completely stunned, sets the script down on the table in front of her. And then she looks really freaked out, puts her head in her hands. So we do know that Sheila and Deacon have a big front burner storyline coming soon, but you cannot tell enough about the script to see if that's what this is about or if it's about something else. So the date of the script looks to be February 19th, 2024. So that would have just shot yesterday and that falls almost halfway through February sweeps, which this year runs from the first of the month to the last day of the month, which is pretty rare. Usually it overlaps into the next month, but this year, for some reason, February sweeps is a calendar month. So what the big deal is about this script is that it looks like Emma Barber is back. I'm going to show you a screenshot from the video that we've blown up and sharpened so you can see some of the names. So there's a few areas of the script where it lists daydream is what it looks like daydream sequences and has kind of an interesting array of names. One of the names listed in several places is Steffi, which that's to be expected. And then there's Lucy. Do you remember her? Lucy is the girlfriend of Stephen Logan, the dad of the Logan sisters. So it lists Steffi's name in several places. It also lists Kelly, her daughter's name. I've circled those and put, kind of put the names by them so you can see them. I didn't circle them. I did their names and I did a little arrow. Anyway, lower down on the script, you see the name Sheila where Kimberlyn Brown circled it because that's what you circle on your own scripts. And then it looks like Emma. Looks like the name Emma under a daydream sequence. It could be something else, but I have looked at it a whole bunch. I've looked at the video a whole bunch, and I've looked at the zoomed in screenshot a whole bunch. I don't think it says Luna. The name definitely ends in an A. The first letter looks like an E. The second letter is pointy and angular, not like a U. And then when you run through the rest of the character list, it doesn't align to any of them. The name definitely ends in an A, but it's not long enough to be Donna. It really, really looks like Emma. And I'm you guys can see it right there. See for yourself. And that really provokes some questions. If it is indeed Emma's name on this script that has leaked, why? Why is she listed? She's dead. You know, are these more flashback scenes? Well, I doubt it because flashbacks are done in edit. And I don't think they recycle old footage and list it in the script. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. So I really, really wonder if Bold and the Beautiful brought back Nia Sue to film some scenes as Emma for February sweeps. I mean, they're dredging Emma up for a lot of reasons, most notably to cause problems for Thomas Forrester. So I still wonder if Liam Spencer's the one who asked Xander Avant to come back to L.A. to stir the pot and mess up not just Hope and Thomas, but also possibly Finn and Steffi. Finn just pledged to Steffi that he was off of the Thomas is a murderer bandwagon. 
I do not expect him to stick to his words. I think he's going to backtrack. I think Xander's going to come back around asking questions, slinging accusations, and then freaking out once Finn says, I've decided to drop it. So the big question is who would be having a daydream that includes Emma if the name is indeed Emma and it definitely looks like it. I would expect it could be Thomas because he just told Hope that he is haunted by that night. So maybe it's some kind of Thomas daydream. He nods off at work and sees Emma screaming, something like that. Or maybe it's Xander with Emma haunting him and demanding justice. I mean, there's several people it could be. One person it should not be is Finn. That would be insanely bad writing because he never met her. He never laid eyes on her in person. He only saw her in articles online. I mean, it could be Steffi for certain And she could have a daydream with Emma making accusations against her brother. It could even be Hope's daydream. They all knew Emma well. It just should not be Finn if these are new scenes. So there are, there's nothing on Nia Sue's IMDb page to indicate that she is coming back to bald. But if they did bring her back to shoot new scenes, I imagine they would keep that locked down tight so that it would be a shocker when you see her on screen. And I don't expect the powers that be thought anyone would screenshot and blow up and sharpen Kimberlyn's script that she was flipping through. I'm very intrigued by all this, though. If you don't recall, Emma's car plummeted into the ravine. Thomas pulled his car over and stood at the top of the ravine. He was not smiling, despite what some people keep saying. His facial expression, though, was real weird. I will say to me... My takeaway from his expression was, well, that tied things up nicely. You know, it wasn't a benevolent expression. It wasn't kind, nor was he smiling, nor was he laughing. I didn't see a smirk. It was kind of an enigmatic look on his face. But to me, it was like, okay, one less thing to worry about. So all of this is clearly going to have its climax in February sweeps. I would be happy not to hear about any of this after next month. No matter what, I really doubt Thomas would be arrested. The statute of limitations expired. Only cold-blooded, you know, run up on somebody and stab them or drive over their body with your car. That type of murder would get a case reopened. Questions about tailgating and road rage and following too closely are not going to surpass the statute. Fenn is heading into dangerous waters with his marriage if he keeps on with his I need to protect hope stuff and after he just told Steffi that he'd drop it when he brings it back up I think Steffi's going to lose patience with her husband but as for this daydream stuff it's wild I will say I'm not a big fan of fantasy sequences and daydreams anything that's not really happening in the storyline means it doesn't add anything to the storyline so when someone's sitting around just thinking about something or making stuff up that really annoys me because it doesn't move the plot forward and bnb already moves so slow i especially hate when they fake kissing and sex scenes and then give it out as a promo i don't think promos should lie to fans that's just my opinion though wait until february 19th i guess and then we'll know for certain if that's emma's name or not By the way, I don't think she's coming back from the dead. I've seen some elaborate conspiracy theories about Justin went down there, got her body. She's been alive all this time. Guys, that's not what Bold does. Very, very, very rarely. This is not days of our lives. And we saw her pretty much die on screen. And there was an investigation into her death. If she wasn't really dead, if they didn't have a body down at the morgue, there would not have been this protracted investigation, which there was. So unless Bald is rewriting all of their history, looks like it's just a daydream. I'm not sure exactly what Brad Bell's endgame is dredging all this up. I don't think at this point that there's any justice for Emma to be had because the statute has expired. So it just seems really, really weird. And I do hope it wraps up in February sweeps. I'm mildly intrigued, but if it drags on past the end of February, I'm going to start being annoyed. So we'll see. 
All right. So in less than a month, we will know if Emma is back. February 19th. Everybody watch and see. Drop your comments below. Click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back soon. We are here talking bald seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt.